welcome back to Tech Five of My Darlings. Today, with a special guest, I will be walking you through how to set up your lead generation email outreach in one workflow using AI. Uh, instead of using six to seven tools to do this, now you can set it up in one flow. So if you're a startup founder, a sales rep, a small business owner that has been drowning in admin tasks like I have for the past three weeks, especially when it comes to sales, this is definitely going to be a game changer for you. So follow along, um, it's not going to take too long. And I'm waiting for my special guest to come in who I met randomly in a co-working space that showed me this. I was pretty much impressed, so I hope he will be too. Hi, Bert. Hey, Dina. Sorry. I'm late. That's Wasn't okay. a customer call. That's OK. I was did you start without me? Yes, I did. Just a little bit of the intro. Do you want to introduce yourself, Mark? Yeah, for sure. I come from a sales background, and uh, basically, I hated doing all the admin work around it. So I built an AI agent to put the sales on autopilot in full. So what kind of like problems are you having with sales today? Oh, a lot. I First off, is finding the right person uh, in the right company. Mm -hmm. And second, this time constraint, it just takes too much time. To yeah. Figure filling the company's data in a sheet and then take it to another sequencing email, writing the email sequences, personalizing each email if you need. Yeah. Uh, anyway, work, work nicer. Do you want to do personalized outreach or just box sending like thousands of them? No, it needs to be personalized. It works better. I see. I see. That makes sense. And uh, do you know who you are targeting today? Yes, I have a list of companies. Awesome. I can show you how. This is where you have the lead search functionality. You just need to go to lead search over here and then click on find target people or target people under companies. You said you already know the people, uh, the companies themselves. And then in here, you'll just put the job title and the company domain. I am last one. So do I just paste the list here? Yeah, exactly. You just copy paste them. Oh They'll gosh. be structured the domains. Put the job title. Can I do select oh job title. other founders? Exactly. Founders, marketing teams like growth. Yeah, you can just put growth. Okay. If it doesn't exist, just put a keyword a growth. Exactly. Okay, cool. And next. Just preview the results. You'll see if the results look good to you. Yeah. So in this case, we've got some of them, as you can see, as to one of them is James Easterly from Cognizant CEO. So now it's just launch this, right? Exactly. Okay. Let's close that one. Yeah. And then click generate column. Let's do something. Okay. I want to see if they recently raised. Okay. Yeah. So you'll just write a prompt just like ChatGPT. Find out if click at, at company. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's company raised the recent financing round. Raised. Funding, yeah. And then run, and then run, run for all rows. I'm gonna just okay. define just to see if it's gonna work. Yeah. It's going to load one by one. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Okay, generate. Okay, that's a bit old. I should have mentioned maybe 2024. Yeah. Okay, but this is already like really good. It will allow me to create so much information yeah. about them. Okay, let's just go to launch campaign and actually the email, okay? And then write the email. Okay, cool. What do I do now? So let's put hey at, and then first name, uh, just the name, okay? So that's going to be the full name. Uh, name, mm -hmm. yeah, and then what other variable was there? But I didn't add it, okay. Uh, but I can, for example, if I wanted to add their tech yeah. level page, I could have created that in the Excel sheet. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that's really cool. All right, next step. Oh, this is the coolest part that I really liked, is I can just send this person a connection request exactly. the day the email was sent. Mm -hmm. Or select, okay, I need to connect my LinkedIn. You can connect your LinkedIn inbox, and then uh, you can set up delays in between messages. Okay. Uh, and also, you can send an automatic LinkedIn message once the connection invite is accepted. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I can send another email and then exactly. keep the flow running. This is awesome. But hey, let's assume I don't have the list of the companies. Yeah, then we would basically go to the associates. Mm -hmm. These are AI agents that work autonomously almost, and uh, they will bring you leads, research them, and let you create sequences on them just automatically. 
Nice. So say I have to send a sequence email f- for users. Do I just say use this template? Exactly. Use this template. Now put your job titles in terms of ideal customers. Okay. Target. Let's target product managers. Yep. That makes sense. Yeah, right over there. I'll just select all of them later. Mm-hmm. Company like maybe in the US and in the UK. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. And then teams that are max 50. Keywords, set up accounting, advertising. Wow, that's a lot of industries. Where did you get this list from? Oh, we just put it ourselves. Ah. Okay, preview output. This is the part where you will preview the results. If you don't like them, you can change them back. Oh. Just to see a, sort of a preview of it as to what kind of people will show up. Yep, so you've got uh, Nain, Naini Breban mm-hmm. and 493 people just like her. Amazing. Yeah, now exactly. that's like my target audience. Okay, continue. This is the really cool part, I think, where now AI is going to go recognize your company, Tech Bible, in this case, and then scour the web, do research, and see how we can best sell to them in terms of doing the research. This takes a bit, a bit time, though. It's okay. Not that much, but yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So it will bring you news, awards, and the last part is the summary how Tech Bible can sell the bookkeep e-commerce accounting automation. And mm-hmm. this part is going to be used for your outreach, so that it's the most relevant one uh, based on your value propositions. Amazing. And I can tailor this? Yeah, uh, you can. Where t- do I do that in the setting? Uh, you mean like your value propositions? Yeah. Yeah, so if you go to, you uh, should, should be showed right now or later? Later. Okay. Just tell me. Yeah, I'll uh, show that, yeah. So based on your value propositions, AI has just found out that like you can basically sell the bookkeeping in the following ways in terms mm-hmm. of like enhancing their automation, integration, and SaaS recommendations to give them as a recommendation. Click continue. Now, based on this research, we'll generate an outreach message automatically. Cool. And if you don't like this, the best part is you can just put your instructions and comments to AI. Oh, I love it. And the email is like so short. This yeah. is so good. Oh my God. Exactly. This is amazing. So what do I do next? Just You can just activate this in full or yeah, with LinkedIn, you can add steps as to another email should be generated as a follow-up or uh, another LinkedIn connection request should be sent. Mm. Yeah. Once the email is okay. Exactly. And how long do you recommend the sequences to be? Like three weeks? I think three steps is the best. Okay. So it doesn't like it should have like intervals of two to three days at most. Mm. And then the first step usually an email, a second email, and then a LinkedIn invite. And if you receive a reply, the best part is we are going to recognize that and then stop the campaign. Awesome. And if I click activate here, it's going to start sending, right? Exactly. So I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Um, okay. One of the benefits here that I see is that you can mm-hmm. connect on Slack. What kind of notifications can I get when do I so, get with- Yeah, this is like a, in a way, this is like a sales team that you have, which means that this is just an example lead, but we'll load you 25 to 50 every day. And whenever AI does that, it will send you a notification on Slack and email telling you that, hey, you job, today's leads are ready. Do you want to check them out? If you don't check them out, it will start, it will keep sending and then working, but you can always come back, review them, edit them, make it better. Awesome. Oh, this is really cool. Thank you so much for sharing this with me. One of the things that I've heard before is warming up your inbox. Mm-hmm. Is that a thing? What does that even mean? That's a thing. In terms of warming up your inbox, if you send a lot of emails with the same content over and over again, Google will recognize you and then decrease your domain reputation, so your deliverability will go down. In the case of this tool, uh, we send different emails to each person, thanks to AI, which means that Google doesn't really recognize it as such that this guy is sending spam. Okay, awesome. And what about multiple domains? Can I add here? 
Do I need to have multiple domains? You don't need to, but you can definitely connect multiple domains into this tool. Uh, so that's not a problem. And if you want to send more and more, you would recommend it because you want to keep the, dom reputa the reputation of your main domain so that um, you can basically never have it decreased. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. I will link Mars LinkedIn down in the video. So if you do want to get in touch with him about how he built the AI agent or about God mode in general, you should reach out. Also, if you want to build this workflow today and get started with yourselves, the link is in, in the caption and we'll put a discount for that for, for, sure. for, that for my people. <laughs> for sure. For All right. Sure. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Uh, stay in touch.